hello in this video i'm going to show you how to create dynamic report in excel with percentage and values displayed on clustered column charts let's get started based on what you can see i've got this dynamic report in excel and of course there is a list data validation drop down so when i choose let's say critical order priority you can see the report changes and amazingly the cluster column chart do contain the percentage and the values so let's see how we can replicate these from the scratch the first thing i want to do is to copy this order priority label so ctrl c and ctrl v in cell i1 and of course in cell j1 we want to create a list data validation so j1 selected click on the data tab in the data tools click on data validation and we want to allow a list now in the source, I'm going to come to the top of column C and click enter and this creates automatic unique values for me. And of course, this is a new functionality in list data validation in Excel. So I can press alt down arrow key so I can see the other parties to pick from. So the next thing I want to do is to create a sorted unique account manager. So I'm going to come to cell I4, type in equal sign sort function and the unique and of course i want to get all the unique values so close close the brackets click enter and of course this created a sorted unique account manager's name so i'm just going to call this one account or let me just copy from here so b1 and ctrl v to paste now i want to create total sales here now for the total sales i want to use the sum effects function so sum ifs and for the sum range, I want to aggregate the total column in column G, put in a comma, and then for the criteria range 1, I want to come to the account manager menu side, put in a comma. For the criteria 1, I want all this unique account manager's name. And of course, we can see this spill operator, which is part of the dynamic array, so put in a comma. Now, for the criteria range 2, because we want to create a dynamic calculation, whereby when we pick from the drop-down, everything changes dynamically. So, I'm going to come to the order priority in column C, and put in a comma. And for the criteria 2, I want to choose the selected order priority in cell J1. So, close the bracket, control enter, and control shift down arrow key, and I'm going to press control shift 4. And of course, there we go. So we can see this is working fine. Now let's get rid of the decimals. So I'm going to come to the old tab and get rid of the decimals. Okay, lovely. Now I'm going to come to cell J1. And let's say I want to choose low order priority. You can see everything works pretty fine. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to actually calculate the percentage for each of the total so i'm going to come here and type in equal sign i'm going to get this value so j4 divide by the sum of the entire values and this is going to give me a spill operator now watch what's going to happen i'm going to press the bracket click enter this is going to work fine but the moment i copy down the formula i'm going to get a ref error now to fix this problem i'm going to come back to the top cell double click and apply f4 key to make it absolute control enter and then copy down the formula and this is working pretty fine now what i'm going to do is i want to format this and represent this percentage with text so i'm going to double click and use the text function now the text function takes the value all this as the input value put in a comma now since we want percentage inside double quotes i'm going to type in zero dot zero and then i'm going to put in the percentage symbol close the double quotes close the text control enter double click to copy down the formula so we can see the percentage represented as text we can investigate to and use the is number or is test okay and when i grab the k4 close the bracket i'm going to get true because now this is now represented as text that's lovely get rid of this now the next thing i want to do is to represent these total sales in text so equal sign i'm going to use the text function again and select the j4 put in the comma for the text format inside double quote i'm going to apply the formatting so pound sign comma pound sign pound sign and then close the double quote and of course i can even put in the j4 
GB pound symbol here, and then I'm going to close the bracket, control, enter. There we go. So you can see now we've been able to represent the total sales as text. So double click to copy down the formula. Now, what I'm going to do is very simple next. Now, I'm going to use the concat function to concatenate this percentage and the numbers in text. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, Control A to select Control C to copy escape. I'm going to come here and after the equals, I'm going to pump in the contact function. Now, this is going to be the text one and I'm going to put in a comma. Now, for the text two, I'm going to use what's called a line feed. So, to use a line feed in Excel, I'm going to use the chart function and 10. This is line feed. Put in a comma, close the bracket, put in a comma, and Control V and get rid of this equal to operator and i'm going to close the bracket for the contact function control enter and then copy down the formula so i can get rid of this i don't need this again okay so what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and create my clustered column chart so i'm going to select this block of values and come to the insert tab and then under the chart group i'm going to choose the insert column or the bar chart i want to choose the 2d column chart and there we go let's make it to be a little bit bigger get rid of the grid lines i don't need the grid lines so turn off the grid lines and of course i want to get rid of this y axis get it out and what i'm going to do next is to make this to be a little bit bigger so i can right click and choose format data series and then for the gap width i'm going to reduce to let's say and 100 and this is fine and i can come to the fill bucket and i can change the color so very colors by point so this is fine and i can come to the effects so click on the effects and i can choose 3d format so for the top bevel i'm going to use this bevel round bevel and that's lovely so the final path is to go ahead and display the percentage and the values on the cluttered column chart so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the chart in the chart area and then i'm going to click on this plus sign and choose data labels option here and i want to choose more options and this automatically add the default data labels based on the total sales so i'm going to come here to the labels option and two labels option again and i'm going to turn off the original value and then i want to select value from cells so click on it and of course in the select data label range i'm going to click on cell k4 and press ctrl shift down arrow key and then click on ok so this is the moment of truth click ok and that's amazing so you can see the percentage and the values on the cluster column chart and of course, you can press Ctrl B to make it to be bold. I can close this format data labels task pane in, and I can move this down a little bit. And then when I come to the cell J1, let's say I want to choose critical or a priority. Watch what happens. So critical, there we go. So you can see the report dynamically change. And of course, the charts also responded to the changes so we can see the percentage and of course the values let's say i want to choose medium order priority there we go so everything works dynamically so this is basically how we can create a dynamic report in excel that display percentage and values on the cluster column chart i trust you in this video if you do like comment and share with your friends thank you and bye for now cheers